calculating deflections. And this is using the conjugate beam method. Okay, so from previous videos, we had uh, discussed about the double integration method and the area moment method. Okay, so this time for conjugate beam method, our objective is to uh, calculate for the deflection as well as the slope of the real beams uh, by drawing its conjugate or corresponding conjugate beam. Okay. So, as defined, so let us define first. Uh, the conjugate beam method is based on the analogy between the relationships uh, among load, shear, and bending moment. And the relationships among the M over EI, the slope, and the deflection. Okay, the conjugate beam method is preferred by many engineers because of its systematic sign convention and straightforward application, which does not require sketching the elastic curve of the structure. So if you will recall, uh, using the DIM or the area moment method, uh, the first thing that we need to do is to draw the expected elastic curve or the deflected form of the beam. Because based from the elastic curve, we draw the, 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 devi uh, the deviations and the, uh, the change in slope, okay? So by drawing the tangent lines. So in this method, the conjugate beam method or the CBM method, we don't need to draw uh, the, the deflected form or the elastic curve of the beam. Okay. So uh, accordingly, the conjugate beam corresponding to the real beam, so again, the conjugate beam corresponding to the real beam is a fictitious beam with the same length as the real beam, but it is externally supported and internally connected such that if the conjugate beam is loaded with the M over EI diagram, so we need to draw here the moment diagram of the real beam, the shear and the bending moment at any point on the conjugate beam are equal respectively to the slope and deflection at the corresponding point on the real beam. So basically, uh, for this method, first we have to uh, have the real beam. So ito yung actual beam with its actual loads. Okay. Then out of that real beam, we have to draw or produce its conjugate uh, beam. Okay. Now, so how do we draw the conjugate beam? So we just simply copy the length. Okay. Kung ano yung length ng real beam, kukopyahin mo lang yun din yung magiging length ng conjugate beam natin. Not, uh, conjugate, conjugate beam net, uh, natin. Tapos, from the real beam, we have to draw the moment diagram. Okay? So, remember, remember yung ginagawa natin moment diagram by parts using the area moment method. So, yung moment diagram na yun, from, uh, of the real beam, ita transfer natin or kokopyahin natin dun sa conjugate beam at gagawin natin siyang magiging load ng conjugate beam. Okay? So, basta yung area ng moment diagram is nasa taas, okay, that means positive yung moments. Paglipat mo sa conjugate beam, the direction of that equivalent load would be upward. So, yung mga negative moment diagrams naman dun sa real beam, pag tinransfer mo sa conjugate beam, it would be uh, a load on the conjugate beam which is directed downward naman. Okay? So, basically, Pagka inilagay mo yung moment diagram dun sa conjugate beam, the loads, uh, the loads would be directed away. Kung nasa ibabaw, upward. Pagka nasa ilalim, it would be downward. It would be away from the axis of the conjugate beam. Tapos, uh, if, you, if we want to solve for the um, slope, slope and the deflection of the real beam, so that will just correspond to the shear and the moment of the conjugate beam. So, ibig sabihin, after mo ma-produce yung conjugate beam, mailagay mo sa kanya yung moment diagram and, and it will act as its moment, uh, its uh, load. Ia-analyze natin ngayon yung conjugate beam due to that uh, moment diagram as loads. Then, at any points dun sa conjugate beam, pagka na-solve mo yung shear, yung shear force dun, Yung shear force sa conjugate beam will correspond to the slope 
of the real beam. And uh, likewise, yung magiging uh, moment dun sa conjugate beam will correspond to the deflection on the real beam. So, ganun yung uh, interrelation between the real beam and the conjugate uh, beam. Okay? So, so, uh, so I have here the, the, the comparison or the conversion of the real beam to its conjugate beam. So, basically, uh, it will be depending at any given joints, basically, or on the uh, supports. Okay? So, let us recall uh, that for a hinge support or a roller support, diba, meron siyang reaction. So, pagka-hinge, diba, dalawa yung reaction natin dyan, horizontal tsaka vertical. Pagka-roller, <coughs> isa lang yung reaction. So, meaning to say, whenever, whenever we have a simple end support, which is a hinge or it could be a roller, diba, ang slope doon is hindi equal to zero. The slope there would be non-zero. Meaning to say, if I'll draw a if, if I'll draw the elastic curve of that uh, beam, due to that simple support, the elastic curve would be something like this, diba? The, uh, the elastic curve would be simple like, uh, like this. So if I'll draw a tangent line at that point, the tangent line would be something like this. And meron siyang angle or theta or slope with respect to the horizontal. So that means yung theta, hindi siya equal to zero. Likewise, kapag ka roller support din, kapag ka nag-draw ako ng tangent line dun sa elastic curve niya, yung tangent line natin, ganito itsura. So meron siyang angle with respect to the horizontal. Yun yung theta or yun yung slope. Which is obviously hindi siya equal to zero. Okay? So, and at the same time, how about deflection? So, in terms of deflection naman, alam naman natin na pagka-hinge at roller, uh, walang magiging deflection at that joint. Eh. Diba? Hindi naman siya gagalaw up or down. It will remain uh, at the same point before and after loading. So, therefore, the deflection at that point for hinge or roller would be zero. Okay? So, ito yung kailangan nating malaman uh, sa real beam. Kailangan malaman natin yung slope at saka deflection. Okay? Now, kung ang slope is not equal to zero, when we draw the conjugate beam or when we identify the corresponding conjugate beam, diba sabi natin, yung slope sa real beam will correspond to the shear on the conjugate beam. While the deflection or the delta on the real beam will correspond to the moment on the conjugate beam. So, ito yung shear, ito yung moment. Since zero ang, shear, uh, zero ang slope, kaya ginawa ko na rin zero. Again, since yung theta natin is not equal to zero, kaya yung corresponding shear would not be equal to zero also. Since the deflection is equal to zero, it will correspond that the moment on the conjugate beam would be zero. Okay? So now, so, Paano natin ma-identify yung conjugate beam? So, anong klaseng support, anong klaseng joint na kung saan ang shear natin is hindi zero pero yung moment natin would be zero. Okay? So, anong klaseng joint or anong klaseng support na kung saan ang shear doon ay hindi zero pero ang moment doon ay zero. Hindi ba simple support din yun? Kasi ang simple support, walang moment. Diba? The moment there is zero. Tama. And at the same time, may shear force. May shear force. Yun yung reaction. Yun yung shear force. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kapag ka-hinge or roller ang nasa real beam, ang corresponding conjugate beam niyan would be the same lang. Roller or hinge din. Okay? Now, so let's consider the second example. For the second example, it is a fixed support. So, okay. Fixed support. So, ano ang theta ng fixed support. Diba? Ang theta pagka fixed support, zero. Diba? Tapos, uh, ang deflection dyan kapag ka fixed support is also zero. So, ito yun actually. Yan yun. Now, pagka drawing natin ng uh, conjugate beam niya, so, yung theta correspond to the slope. Tapos, yung delta corresponds to the moment of the conjugate beam. Since parehas silang zero, zero, so zero, zero din to. Now, ano? Okay, mag-isip tayo ngayon. Anong klaseng joint? Okay, anong klaseng joint na kung saan ang shear doon is zero at ang moment doon ay zero? Ibig sabihin, walang shear force 
walang moment. Hindi ba't free end yun? Kasi at the free end, alam natin, walang shear force sa dulo, wala ring moment. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kapag ka-fix support ang real beam mo, ang magiging corresponding conjugate beam niya would be a free end. So, ganun ang pag-identify ng conjugate beam given your real beam. Okay, o pangatlo, example. What about kapag ka yung real beam mo is free end? Okay, o free end, ito yung point. Diba, ano, anong, anong kailangan natin alamin para sa real beam? Yung slope at saka deflection. Okay, slope at saka deflection. Ano ang slope dun sa free end? Diba, pagka nag-deflect yan, ganito yung elastic curve niyan pagka free end, so lumulundo siya, no? So, pagka nag-drawing ako ng tangent line at that point, with respect to horizontal, meron tayong theta. Hindi siya equal to zero. Kaya, theta is not equal to zero. Actually, ito yun. Okay? Tapos, alam natin na kapag ka free end, pagka niloda niyan, lumulundo yan, nagkakaroon siya ng deflection, delta. Therefore, ang delta natin is hindi rin equal to zero. So, which is ito yun. Okay? So, kung kung yung, kung yung slope at saka deflection mo ng real beam are hindi equal to zero, correspondingly, it would be for the conjugate beam, again, yung slope corresponds to the shear, tapos yung uh, deflection will correspond to the moment. Since parehas hindi sila zero, parehas din magiging hindi zero yung shear at saka moment. Now, tanong, anong klaseng joint ang hindi zero ang shear at hindi rin, mo, hindi rin zero ang moment. Ibig sabihin, may value ang shear, may value ang moment. Hindi ba't fixed support yun? ba diba? Kasi sabi natin, ang fixed support, merong shear at meron ding moment. Ibig sabihin, ito yung, uh, yung non-zero shear at saka non-zero moment. So, ibig sabihin, whenever you have a free end in your real beam, the corresponding conjugate beam of the free end would be a fixed support. Okay? So, ganun ang pag-identify ng conjugate beam. Iisa-isahin mo lahat ng mga joints sa real beam. Iisa-isahin mo lahat ng, ng joints sa real beam. Kasi ko convert mo yung mga joints from real beam to its corresponding conjugate beam, yung joints sa conjugate beam. Okay? So, ganun ang pag-convert. <coughs> okay. So, let's have a uh, uh, next example. What if I have here a simple interior support? Uh, interior support, halimbawa ano, ano ba, meron kang continuous beam. Ano ba, ganyan. Ganyan. So, that is a continuous beam with two spans. Ito, ito exterior. Exterior uh, support. Ito rin, exterior. Yung nasa dulo, exterior. So, ito yung interior support. Yung nasa gitna. Okay. So, whenever you have an interior uh, support, Uh, it could be a simple interior hinge or it could be an interior roller. Okay. Diba pagka nagkaroon ng deflection dyan, so kunwari, ito yung elastic curve, so pwede maging ganyan. Ayan. So if this would be the interior support, if I'll draw a tangent line dyan, the tangent line would be, uh, it will not be horizontal, diba? Kasi kapag, halimbawa, yung load dito, mas malaki kisa sa load dito. So ang, ang tangent line niya would be ganyan. So, with respect to horizontal, may theta. So, therefore, theta rito is hindi equal to zero. Ito yun. Okay? At the same time, diba, when we cut the section at this internal interior support, when we cut the member at the interior support, diba, may moment na lumalabas doon, axial, shear, tsaka moment. Okay? So, at the same time, ah, sorry, uh, when it comes pala doon sa deflection, rather, sorry, deflection. Diba, since this is an interior support, So, alam naman natin that the deflection there would be equal to zero. <clears throat> equal, uh, ang deflection doon equal to zero kasi hindi naman siya gagalaw baba or taas, di ba? <clears throat> okay. So, theta is hindi zero pero ang deflection doon ay zero. Again, yung theta pagdating sa conjugate beam will correspond to the shear. So, kung hindi siya zero, it, it follows that the shear is also not equal to zero. So, ito yun. Kapag kayong deflection mo ay zero, Pagdating sa conjugate beam, it will correspond to the moment. Okay? So, zero, zero si deflection sa real beam. So, that means zero ang moment sa conjugate beam. Ito yun. Now, so mag-isip tayo ng joint. Anong mangyayari dun sa joint na yon na kung saan 
ang shear natin ay z, uh, hindi zero. Ito yun. Pero at that joint, ang moment there is zero. So, anong klaseng joint yun? Hindi ba't internal hinge yun? Di ba alam natin na pagka internal hinge, may shear force dyan? Di ba? When you cut the section at that point, may shear force na lalabas doon. Pero walang moment. The moment there is zero. Kasi may internal hinge nga. So, ibig sabihin, if you, if you find an interior support on the real beam, kapag kakinonvert mo yan sa conjugate beam, the interior support will, will be converted to an internal hinge. So, yun yung equivalent conjugate niya. Okay? So, last. How about for an inter internal hinge? What if you have a real beam na mayroong internal hinge within its span? So, ano bang property na internal hinge? In terms of slope, hindi naman zero yun, diba? Kasi nagkakaroon ng deflection. Let's say, originally, horizontal yung beam. Pag, pagkatapos ng loading, ito na internal hinge. So, when I draw a tangent, tangent line there, with respect to horizontal, so yung theta doon will not be equal to zero. The slope there is not equal to zero. So, ito yun. Tapos, yung deflection din doon, hindi naman zero kasi pwede lumundo yun eh. Diba? Nagde-deflect din yun eh. So, deflection there is also hindi equal to zero. Okay? So, parehas yung slope at saka yung delta are not equal to zero. So, if we will identify its conjugate beam, again, the slope corresponds to the shear and the deflection corresponds to the moment. So, since parehas sila hindi equal to zero, the shear and the moment will not be equal to zero also. Okay, now, isip tayo. Anong klaseng joint ang pwede nating may isip na kung saan ang shear force daw doon ay hindi zero at saka yung moment daw doon ay hindi zero. Ibig sabihin, may shear force value, may moment value. Anong klaseng joint yun? Diba, interior support dapat yun? Kasi sa interior support, when we cut the section there, may shear force, at the same time, may moment. Okay? So, which is similar to this, to uh, uh, shear and moment uh, conditions, which are both equal, not equal to zero. Okay? So, ganun ang pag-identify ng conjugate beam. Okay? So, again, to summarize it up, so, titingin ka sa real beam. Okay? Yung real beam, yan yung given na beam. No? Yung totoong beam na ina-analyze natin. So, i-identify mo lang yung slope at saka yung deflection ng real beam. Okay, pag na-identify mo na kung ano ang slope, ano ang deflection ng real beam, okay, so kaya mo na ma-drawing or ma-produce yung corresponding conjugate beam nila. How? How? So, ang theorem is that yung slope ng real beam corresponds to the shear of the conjugate beam. Tapos yung deflection ng real beam will correspond to the moment of the conjugate beam. Okay? So, yan yung tatandaan nyo. Slope deflection ng real beam corresponds the shear moment ng conjugate beam. Okay? Okay. So, let us have an example. Okay, for the sign convention, if the positive ordinates of the moment diagram are applied to the conjugate beam, okay, as upward loads, again, so yung mga positive ordinates na moment diagram are to be applied on the conjugate beam as upward load. Again, then vice versa, then a positive shear in the conjugate beam denotes a positive counterclockwise slope of the real beam. So the same sign convention pa rin, no? So pagka nakuha natin is ang, ang sign convention, ang sign ng shear sa conjugate beam is positive, di ba? So ibig sabihin, pagka positive uh, shear sa, sa conjugate beam, so that means positive din yung slope. No? Kapag nakuha nating moment sa conjugate beam is positive, that means positive din yung deflection. Deflection or delta. Tawagin natin delta. Okay? So, yung sign convention natin sa area moment method will still remain uh, uh, dito sa conjugate beam. Ano yung sign convention natin sa area moment method? Diba? In terms of change of slope, uh, would be positive kapag ka-counterclockwise, negative pagka-clockwise. 
sa deflection naman, it would be positive kapag ka uh, uh, positive means uh, yun, a positive bending moment in the conjugate beam denotes a positive upward. Okay, so upward upward deflection. And if it's negative, it will be downward. Okay, so yan yung magiging sign convention natin later on. Okay, so let's have an ex uh, So I have here the procedures <clears throat> in the analysis of beam using conjugate beam. Okay, so uh, let us just apply these uh, procedures in the succeeding examples para mas mas ma-appreciate natin. Okay, so let's have this <clears throat> case naman. So I'll be giving you the real beam. We will identify its corresponding beam. Okay, so. Okay, so one. So I have here a simple beam. So this would be my real beam. Yung real beam, yan yung actual beam na i-analyze natin. Okay, so ang pag a natin is per joint. Okay, so let's start with this joint. Okay, so let's have the theta and the deflection. Okay, this is hinge na nasa dulo. Hinge na nasa dulo. So that means, ang slope doon ay hindi equal to zero, di ba? Hindi yan equal to zero. <clears throat> Tapos yung deflection doon ay zero. Tama? Okay? Now, how about dito sa roller sa dulo, sa kanang kabilang dulo? Anong slope dito? Ibang slope doon hindi equal din si zero? Ibig sabihin, may value yung slope dyan, di ba? Tapos yung deflection dito, zero. Okay? Now, so pagka nag-drawing tayo ng conjugate beam, pag nag-drawing tayo ng conjugate beam, kukopyahin natin yung length. So, kung halimbawa, yung length nito is L, so kukopyahin ko rin yung length. So, yan. So, length L din. Now, eto sa point na to, sa kaliwang dulo, ano dapat ang condition ko ng kaliwang dulo? In such a way na, di ba yung slope at saka deflection sa real beam will correspond to the shear at moment. Oh. Slope, slope dito ay hindi zero. So, dapat ang shear dito ay hindi rin daw zero. Kung ang, ang, ang deflection dito zero, so dapat ang moment dito zero. Oh. Anong klaseng joint dapat meron dito para na kung saan ang moment daw doon zero tapos ang shear daw doon ay hindi zero. So, anong klaseng support yun? Hindi ba that would be a hinge then? Kasi ang hinge, di ba, mayroon siyang reaction. Yung reaction na yan, that will correspond to the shear. So, non-zero siya. Pero ang moment that, at that point, would be zero. Okay, so that would be the conjugate. Uh, the conjugate uh, equivalent of the left support. Now, how about dun sa up sa right, extreme right support? So, sabi sa real beam, ang theta raw is hindi zero. So, kung theta, it will correspond that the shear ay hindi rin equal to zero. Tapos yung deflection daw equal to zero. So sa conjugate beam, that means yung moment equal to zero. So again, anong klaseng joint ang meron dapat dito para ang moment daw doon is zero tapos yung shear daw doon ay hindi zero? Okay, so what kind of support? Hindi ba it could be hinge or roller? Kasi pagka hinge at saka roller, diba, meron siyang shear pero wala, wala siyang moment. So that means The real beam was given, out of that real beam given, I come up with, with its equivalent conjugate beam. So basically, to sum, it, so to sum it up, kapag ka simple beam ang real beam mo, ang corresponding conjugate beam niyan ay parehas lang. No? So basta simple beam, ang real beam at conjugate beam niya would be the same. Okay. Next. What about for a cantilever beam? Okay, cantilever beam. Ito yung real, real beam, cantilever beam. So, slope, deflection. Okay, at this joint, what is its slope? Diba ang slope doon is equal to zero? Diba pagka fixed support? Okay, what is its deflection at this point? Diba pagka fixed support, the deflection is also equal to zero? Tama? Okay. Now, what about on the far end, sa dulo, sa kanan? Anong slope dito? Diba ang slope dito ay hindi zero? 
Kasi, tiba, nag, ano yan eh, uh, magde-deflect yan downward. So, if I draw a tangent line at the deflected point, the tangent line would be hindi zero. I mean, the tangent line will will create an angle with respect to horizontal. So, that means the slope there or theta there is not equal to zero. How about the deflection? Tiba, ang deflection dito, hindi rin zero. Actually, the deflection at the free end would be maximum. So, hindi siya zero. Ayan. So, again, paano ko ito drawing ang conjugate beam niyan? So, kukopihin ko lang yung length. So, halimbawa, this is length L. So, kukopihin ko lang din yung length L. Tapos, at this joint, diba, sa conjugate beam, shear, at saka moment. Okay. Kukopihin ko. So, ang, ang theta rito, zero. Ang deflection dito, zero. So, shear, zero. Moment, zero. Okay, talong. Anong klaseng joint ang zero ang shear, tapos zero ang moment? Anong klaseng joint yon? Zero ang shear, zero ang moment. Tiba free end? Tiba ang free end? Tiba ang free end? Uh, ang shear don ay zero kasi wala naman load don o wala namang rea uh, support reaction don. At the same time, ang moment don ay zero din. Okay? Now, what about don sa dulong kanan na, na dulo? Dulong kanan na point. Okay, so, ang shear daw dapat dito is hindi zero. Tapos yung moment dito ay hindi rin zero. So, based from the real beam. No? O, anong klaseng joint or support ang ilalagay natin dito na kung saan daw ay merong shear at merong moment. Merong shear tsaka merong moment. Hindi ba fixed support yung ganun? Diba? Ang fixed support kasi may shear tsaka may moment. Okay, so it satisfies the condition. So, ibig sabihin, whenever you have a cantilever beam, fix free, the conjugate beam would be a cantilever beam da beam then. Kaya lang magiging free fix, mababalik tayo yung supports. Fix free yung real beam. Pagdating na conjugate beam, it would be ah free fixed. Okay, so next example, letter C. Okay, for letter C. So, I have here a simple beam with overhang. Okay, so, di ba, tatlo yung joints niyan, di ba? Joint 1, ito yung free end. Joint 2, yung roller. Roller is an interior roller. Tapos, yung hinge natin is an exterior, nasa dulo. Okay, so, tatlo yung identify natin. So, again, sa real beam, kailangan natin malaman yung slope tsaka deflection. Okay, sa point una, yung unang point, anong slope dito? Diba, hindi equal to zero dito. Deflection din dito ay hindi equal to zero. Okay. So, pagka nag-drawing ako ng conjugate beam, kukopihin ko lang din. So, kung kunwari, ito ay L1, ito ay L2. So, ito rin ay L1, ito rin yung L2. So, these are the points. Point 1, point 2, and we have point 3. Okay. For the point 1, diba sa conjugate beam, It would be shear, tsaka moment. Zero, not zero, not zero. So, not zero, not zero, not zero. Okay. Anong klaseng joint to? Na kung saan, not zero ang shear, not zero din yung moment. Ibig sabihin, may values yung shear, may values yung moment. Anong klaseng support yun? Okay. So, fixed support, diba? So, gagawin ko itong fixed support. Fixed support. Ayan. Okay, o pangalawang point dito. Ano ang slope dito? Di ba ang slope dito ay hindi zero? Kasi interior roller support yan eh. Ang moment din dyan ay hindi rin zero. Tama ba? Yes. Okay, so ang slope dun sa interior ko, uh, roller, hindi zero. At the same time, yung, deflect, sorry, yung deflection would be zero. Okay. So the deflection there, ito, it should be it should be zero. So this is zero. Kasi interior roller. So walang deflection naman doon, tiba? Okay, so so that corresponds here. Okay. Um, yung shear, yung shear, hindi zero. Pero yung moment dito, must be zero. Galing dito sa dalawang to. Okay? 
So, tanong, anong gagawin ko sa point na to para maging uh, zero yung moment, para maging zero yung moment, pero may shear force? Anong gagawin ko sa support na to? Zero yung moment, pero may shear force. So, anong klaseng joint yun? Di ba internal hinge yun? Internal hinge. So, this would be an internal hinge. Di ba ang internal hinge, may shear force doon, pero pagka kinat mo section, the moment there would be zero. Okay? Okay, so yung last joint naman dito, anong slope dito? The slope here is hindi zero, pero ang deflection dito ay zero. Okay, so um, slope, hindi zero, pero ang moment, zero. So anong klaseng joint to? Yung pangatlo sa dulo sa kanan. Wala rong moment, pero may shear force. So that would be a roller or a hinge. Parehas lang naman, roller or a hinge. Di ba pagka ang roller, may shear force siya due to the reaction, pero the moment there is zero. So ibig sabihin, the conjugate, uh, the real, if this is the real beam, yun nasa kaliwa, the corresponding conjugate beam of that real beam would be yun nasa kanan. Yun nasa kanan. Okay, so fix, internal hinge, tapos roller or hinge dun sa kanan. So that would be the corresponding conjugate beam. Okay? O, next, example. Okay, so let's have this real beam. Okay, o, slope, deflection. O, pagka fixed support, slope zero, deflection zero, tiba? Okay, drawing na natin conjugate beam. Isa-isa. Kukopyahin ko yung length niya, kung ano yung haba nito. Kunwari L1, kunwari L2. So, L1, L2 rin. Same lang, kukopyahin mo lang yung length. So, anong gagawin ko sa point na to? Para zero zero yung ano, uh, slope deflection na real beam corresponds to the shear tsaka moment. So, shear is zero, moment is also equal to zero. So, that is a free end. Okay, so this is free end. Free. Free end. Okay, next. If this is an internal hinge, this one, if this is an internal hinge, anong slope doon? Di ba pagka internal hinge, ang slope doon ay hindi zero. Okay, so yung deflection din doon ay hindi zero. So, ibig sabihin, yung slope at saka deflection sa isang internal hinge ay hindi equal to zero parehas. So pagka din drawing ko yung 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 sa point na to so yung shear daw hindi equal to zero tapos yung moment daw hindi rin equal to zero. Anong klaseng support yun? <clears throat> Anong ilalagay ko dun sa joint na yun para pagkakinat ko yung section may shear na lalabas may moment na lalabas and they are both not equal to zero. E di maglagay ako ng internal role ano, sa interior support. Maglagay ako ng uh, pwedeng roller, pwedeng hinge. In interior support. Di ba pagka may interior support, kinat mo yung member at that point. Di ba may lumalabas na shear force at meron ding may moment magnitude. So they are both not equal to zero. So yan yung shear and moment not equal to zero. Okay, for the last point dito, o oh, ano ito? Anong slope dito? Di ba slope dyan? Hindi equal to zero. Pero ang deflection doon, Zero. Okay? So, pagdating dito sa conjugate beam, uh, yung slope not equal to zero corresponds to the shear. Deflection equal to zero corresponds to the moment. O, anong klaseng joint ang ilalagay ko dito or support para yung shear ko daw ay hindi zero pero ang moment ko daw ay zero. E, di ba dulo siya? So, pwede ako maglagay dyan ng hinge or roller. Hinge or roller. Diba? Pagka hinge, may, may reaction and that corresponds to the shear force. Hindi zero. Tapos yung moment yan, dahil sa dulo siya, this, uh, zero yung ano dyan. So as you can see, the conjugate beam is a free end, interior support, tapos hinge sa dulo. So that is the conjugate beam of the real beam. Now, pagka dinodrawing nyo yung conjugate beam, huwag kayo masyadong ano ah, minsan magugulat kayo parang ang pangit na itsura or Uh, actually, minsan unstable. So, walang problema yon, no? 
So, hindi kailangan maging stable or determinate ang conjugate beam. Hindi necessarily kailangan maging stable or even determinate ang conjugate beam. Ah, sorry. Ah, ah, sorry, sorry. Hindi kailangan maging stable yung, yung conjugate beam. Okay? So, and most, most of the conjugate beam should be determinate kasi hindi, pagka hindi siya determinate, we cannot solve for the beam. Okay, so dapat determinate din siya. Okay, pero yung stability, wag nyo na siyang, wag mo na siyang, ano, wag ka na mag-alala doon na it seems like hindi siya stable. Nangyayari rin yun. Okay? O, next. <clears throat> letter D. So, letter E. Okay, for letter E, given sa left side yung real beam. So, we have four, four joints to consider. Joint 1, joint 2, joint 3, joint 4. Okay. Slope. Deflection. So, ganun lagi, no? Slope deflection. So, sa joint 1, uh, slope is not 0, but deflection is 0. Diba? Joint 1. Oh, okay. So, i-drawing natin yung conjugate beam. Isa-isayin natin. Okay. So, shear moment. Okay. So, not 0, not 0, at saka 0. O, oh, anong klaseng joint to? May shear pero walang moment. May shear pero walang moment. That is, it could be hinge support. Ayan. ba? May shear force pero walang moment yan. Next, internal hinge. O, pagka internal hinge, slope, hindi zero din. Deflection, hindi rin zero. ba? Okay? So, slope and deflection are not equal to zero pagka internal hinge. So, pagdating sa conjugate beam, Pagdating sa conjugate beam, eto, kunwari, ito yung point na yon. ang shear hindi row zero, yung moment hindi row zero. So, anong klaseng point yun? Yung shear force hindi zero, yung moment hindi rin zero. Ibig sabihin, may values sila parehas. And that would be an interior support. Diba? Ang, ang interior support, pagkakinat mo yung member doon, meron siyang shear, meron ding moment. So, they are not both equal to zero. O, next, yung roller naman. Dito tayo sa interior roller support. Interior roller support sa real beam. So, the slope there is not zero. But the deflection there, deflection there is zero. Okay. So, pagdating dito sa conjugate beam, the shear, hindi zero. Pero yung moment, zero. O, anong klaseng joint yun? Internal hinge, di ba? So, we will put an internal hinge there. Kasi on, on an internal hinge, pag kinat may internal hinge, may shear force, pero walang moment. Okay? Last, ex roller exterior support. Slope, not zero, but deflection is zero. Okay? So, pagdating sa conjugate beam, ang shear, not zero, Ang moment, zero. So, anong klaseng support yan? May shear, pero walang moment. So, it could be an in, uh, external roller or hinge. Diba? May shear dyan, pero walang moment. So, that means, yung left side na real beam, we come up with our conjugate beam. Okay? So, wa, yung ibang studyante, ang ginagawa, minememorize nila. Kapag ganito yung beam, Ganito dapat ang itsura ng conjugate beam. Pag ganito yung beam, ba? So, actually, pwede mong i-memorize yun, pero ang hirap mag-memorize. So, dapat ang tandaan mo kung paano siya na i-drawing yung conjugate beam. Basta ang tandaan mo lang, pagka sa real beam, i-identify mo lang yung slope deflection. Slope deflection ng real beam will correspond to the shear at saka moment ng conjugate beam. Okay? So, okay. So, letter F, example. O, may dalawang joint tayo. Isa, tsaka dalawa. Okay. So, ang slope dito, zero. Deflection din dito, zero. Kasi parehas silang, I mean, uh, fixed support kasi sila. Fixed support. So, pag dinrawing ko yung conjugate beam ko dyan, shear, zero. Moment, zero. So, that is a free end. ba Free end yun. Dito naman, sa roller, ex, uh, exterior and support, 
the slope there is hindi zero, although ang deflection doon ay zero. So, sa kabilang dulo, ano dapat ang, ang ano to, in such a way na yung shear daw ay hindi zero, pero ang moment ko doon would be zero. Diba? That would be a hinge support. Okay? May shear, pero walang moment. Pansin mo yung conjugate beam. Ano itsura ng conjugate beam? Diba? Parang isang member, tapos may hinge sa dulo. Tapos overhang yung dulo. Diba? Unstable yan. Unstable yan, diba? So, yan yung sinasabi ko. Ang conjugate beam, not necessarily it would be stable. No? Sa real beam, kailangan i-check mo na stable dapat sila. Yung real beam yan eh. Pero pagka dinrawing mo yung conjugate beam, uh, don't be surprised kapag kayo lumalabas na itsura ng conjugate beam would be a unstable one. Okay? Bakit? Kasi pagka niload natin yung moment diagram dyan mamaya, that will make it stable. That will make it in equilibrium. Okay? So kasi these are parang virtual lang eh. Kumbaga, kumbaga hindi naman siya talagang totoong uh, physical beam, yung conjugate beam. So conjugate beam are just there for us to analyze and solve for the slope and deflection of the real beam. Okay, so how about for this real beam? Oh, ang tawag dyan sa beam na yan, both ends fixed. Ang tawag dyan ay restrained beam. O pagka restrained beam, fixed. Diba? Fixed. So slope, zero. Deflection, zero. So pagka conjugate beam yan, hindi kopyain ko lang yung haba niya, ay nasa left ko. So, shear, zero. Moment, zero. E di free end. Di ba? Free end siya. Okay. How about dun sa kanan na fixed support uli? Again, di ba sa fixed support, slope uli ay zero. Deflection dun ay zero rin. So, dito sa kabilang dulo ng conjugate beam, shear, zero. Moment, zero. So, anong klaseng joint yun? E di free end din. So, that's it. Di ba? Kung L yan, pares lang na yung haba. Kopihan mo lang yung haba niyan. Yan yung corresponding conjugate beam ng Restrained beam. O pansinin mo, ang conjugate beam natin dito wala, walang support, nakalutang. No? So that's possible. Okay, so nakalutang lang yung conjugate beam natin. Okay, so yan yung pagkuha ng conjugate uh, beam. How about this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. Again, slope, deflection. Sa taas, ilalagay kay slope. Uh, hindi equal to zero. Zero. Hindi equal to zero. Zero. Not zero. Zero. Not zero. Zero. Ito, not zero. Zero. So, yan yung mga slope and deflection at those joints. Okay. So, pag din-drawing ko yan, okay. So, sa unang hinge, sabi natin shear, Moment. Oh. So, ang shear nila dapat may values lahat. Kasi ang shear, ang slope nila are non-zero lahat. So, it corresponds that the shear must not be equal to zero. Tapos yung deflection naman nila lahat zero, sila zero. So, it will correspond sa conjugate beam, the moment would be zero. Okay. At this point, ano ang zero moment pero may shear? E di hinge support or roller support. Diba? Dulo naman siya eh. Pagka nasa dulo naman siya, so that is a moment equal to zero. Okay. So ito yung sa joint 1, ha? joint 1. Joint 2, tawagin kong joint 3, joint 4, joint 5. Okay. Sa joint 2, ano yun? Ano yung lalagay ko sa joint 2 para uh, may shear pero walang moment? The internal hinge, ba diba? ang internal hinge may shear force pero may walang moment. When you cut the member at the internal hinge, may shear force lumalabas, pero walang moment. So, internal hinge. Sa joint 3, ganun din. Joint 3, internal hinge ulit. Joint 3. Joint 4, ganun ulit. Internal hinge ulit. Joint 4. Joint 5. Joint 5. Okay. So, pwedeng hinge, pwedeng roller support. Okay. So, yan yung magiging conjugate beam ng letter H ng real beam. Para siyang simple beam na meron tatlong internal hinges dun sa loob ng, uh, ng span niya. Okay? How about for this uh, letter I? Again, slope, 
deflection. Okay? Not zero, zero. Dito sa internal hinge, the slope there is not zero. Deflection there is not zero, zero, zero also, tiba? Dito sa roller, not zero, zero. Okay? So pag dinrawin ko yung uh, conjugate beam, shear moment. Dito daw, not zero, pero zero yung moment. Ano to? Hinge. Diba? Exterior support. So, it could be a hinge support. Okay, dito. Not zero, not zero sa internal hinge sa real beam. Pagdating sa conjugate beam, ano ang ilalagay ko rito para maging non-zero ang pareha shear and moment? E the interior support. Diba? On an interior support, pagkakinat ko yung beam doon, mayroong shear force na lalabas at may moment. So, they are not both equal to zero. Then lastly, uh, slope is not equal to zero, pero ang moment there is zero. So that would be a roller or a hinge. Pwede rin. Baka kasi may shear, pero moment there is zero. So yan yung maging corresponding conjugate beam nung given real beam sa letter I. Meron pa ba? Okay, so this one. So ganun alay, no? Slope. Deflection. Oh, fixed support. Zero. Zero. Internal hinge. Not zero. Deflection. Not zero. Free end. Not zero slope. Not zero din ang deflection. So pag dinrawing ko yung conjugate beam yan, this would be free end. Kasi shear moment. Okay? So zero. Zero. So free end. Dito, not zero, not zero din yung moment. So, anong klaseng support yun? It would be an interior support. Yan. Tapos sa dulo, kanan, free end. So, ano dapat na meron tayo dito para maging non-zero yung shear, non-zero din yung moment. Hindi gawin kong fixed support. Diba? Ang fixed support, may shear force, may moment. So, hindi zero. So, yan yung maging conjugate beam nung letter J. Okay? So, so, that is how we identify the conjugate beam of any given real beam. So, again, I don't want you to memorize the corresponding conjugate beams of those different uh, real beams. I want you to understand how we come up with those conjugate beams based from the real beam. Again, ang real beam, theta and slope. Uh, slope and deflection ang kukunin mo. The slope and deflection of the real beam corresponds to the shear and moment of the conjugate beam. So, yun yung pagtutugmay mo. Slope, deflection ng real beam corresponds to the shear and moment of the conjugate beam. So, magka-connect silang dalawa. Yung slope, shear, Okay? Yung deflection, yun yung moment. Okay? So, I hope you understand or you have learned uh, somehow the concepts of conjugate beam.